Students, faculty, and staff at Southern started a new semester on a sad note. They've been forced to deal with grief from the loss of students. Several students were killed or died last year. News 2's Mia Monet joins us with uh, more on how the university is coping. It's been tragedy after tragedy for the students on the bluff. There was a suicide last May, another one this past November. Four students lost their lives while driving home in December, and two more are in critical condition right now in a Houston hospital after a shooting. Dr. Valerie Irving is the director for the Southern Counseling Center. She's been in that position for nearly 25 years. Nothing in my tenure here had we had a uni as a university had we dealt with that many tragedies um, back to back. Two students died by suicide in 2022. One of them, Arlana Miller, was a cheerleader. In December, three members of the human jukebox were killed on the side of the road while they changed their tire on the way home for the holidays. Courtney Hughes was shot in New Orleans at a party on Christmas night. There were six students that we lost, and, and those are the only ones I know of. There very well could be additional. And now, two Southern students are in a Houston hospital fighting for their lives. Amira Pridgen and Tamaya Smothers are best friends. They were at a nightclub in Houston when bullets started flying. They survived, but they are both still in the hospital. It's just been tough, man, not knowing if your daughter's going to make it. You don't, you know, we had, we drove here four hours not knowing. All we know is she was shot. She was on the ground and we jumped up with the clothes on our back and drove here. So both girls were shot multiple times. They're very good girls. I mean, very undeserving of what happened. Just came out here for one day, ready to go home, start, you know, spring semester at college. They were excited about pre-nursing. Irvin is now urging any students who are dealing with emotional trauma to talk to someone after what's been a trying time for students. Like, lean on each other, express what you're feeling, don't deny it. Um, you know, grief doesn't have to be done in isolation. And as for the two girls in Houston, this week, Tamaya Smothers was moved from ICU and into a regular room. Amaya Pridgen is still in the ICU, but is now breathing on her own after 11 days on a ventilator. If you'd like to help them, you can find a link to both of their GoFundMe accounts on our website, WBRZ.com. Chris?